So just wanted to make a quick MLB news video for you guys talking about the Baltimore Orioles, Josh Hader, Jordan Hicks, Craig Kimbrell, and Aroldis Chapman at this 2023-24 MLB offseason. So here on the screen is a tweet from MLB Deadline News on Twitter or X, which says the Baltimore Orioles have expressed interest in the following high leverage relievers per John Heyman, and they list Josh Hader, Jordan Hicks, Craig Kimbrell, and Aroldis Chapman. So the Orioles had themselves a pretty awesome year this past year it's really too bad that Felix Batista was injured because uh, I do believe that if he was healthy he of course won I believe the reliever of the year award and the American League this past year he could have very well been a difference maker in some series, uh, possibly getting the Orioles over the hump in the playoffs, and who knows what, what would have happened. So I think for 2024, it might not be a terrible idea for the Orioles to add some more pitching, uh, both in the rotation and their bullpen. Uh, these names, of course, would sort of act as more of a closer option, or at least a setup option at the very least, if Batista comes back from his injury and still performs at a high level. Uh, Josh Hader, of course, had a tremendous year last year uh, with the Padres, so he'd be more of a, a starting closer, in my personal opinion. Uh, same with Craig Kimbrell, I believe last year he played for, if not mistaken, the Phillies, but he's not going to be coming back most likely. So uh, those two players could very well act as sort of a ninth inning guys, you know, closers for this team. Uh, and if Batista comes back from his injury, you can kind of deal with that um, as it may be. But Jordan Hicks and Aroldis Chapman are probably going to be more set up guys, seventh, eighth inning guys, uh, sort of later in baseball games to hopefully get guys out in those, you know, adverse situations. Uh, Jordan Hicks and Aroldis Chapman, of course, both throw tremendously hard. So if the Orioles are sort of looking for that aspect to their bullpen, those guys could very well fit the bill. But uh, Josh Hader and Craig Kimball would obviously be towards the top of the market, whereas Jordan Hicks and Aroldis Chapman probably more so towards the middle to the bottom, financially speaking. So I think the Orioles are not going to be done yet. You know, if they're if they're able to add one of these uh, four guys, they're probably going to be adding to the rotation as well. I'm not too sure if they're going to be going after some of the high-end players, but uh, this Orioles team desperately needs some starting pitching, in my opinion, especially too with Kyle Gibson uh, departing the team to the St. Louis Cardinals. They have a hole to fill there as well. So I'd keep an eye on the Baltimore Orioles possibly being some pretty big-time players uh, this offseason in the free agency market. So could they be going after a player like Josh Hader? It's possible. Could they be going after a player perhaps in the starting market like a, a Jordan Montgomery or an Erod? They absolutely could as well. So we'll keep an eye on the Orioles. Leave all your thoughts down below, and I'll see you in the next one.